Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing today? I guess I'm all right. I'm all right. All right, darlings. Now, what we're going to be doing today is these uh, ornaments. And I want to use this permastone. Y'all, you know, I said I couldn't find the directions. They was inside the bag down in this powder. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to go by ear. <laughs> but anyway, I got it open. Let me show y'all. And it's a very thin powder, which is good. Hopefully, it won't clump up. See, look at that. It's very thin. So, I don't know how much to use this. First time I've ever used it. So, what I'm going to do is just, you know, do what I do. Just measure anything. I wonder if I should have put my water first. Let's do that. Well, I'm not going to know how much water I need, am I? Okay. We'll do the powder. I'm going to do one, mm, two scoops per ornament. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll do. And I think you make it like real thin. Oh, I think that's going to be too much. Well, Okay, so anyway, let's see how much I got in here. Uh, I've got four ounces. All right, now I've just got water. And it says if you want it to cure faster, use hot water. What? Let me move this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me try to find me a stick. Okay, here we go, little machines. Oh, God. But, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm jumping the gun. Hold on. I'm, I'm too excited. So let me close this back up and move it out of the way. And I'm going to be using some of these chameleon powders that um, Miss Tazalian sent me. And I'm also going to be using this Rolio Pigments Autumn Hues powder that I still haven't wiped off. Ain't that great? And I'm just going to dust them all. Huh? That's what I'm going to try it. Oh, Lord. Sorry about the elbow. I'm trying to turn my light on. So, anyway, let me get me... Oh, I was not ready, was I? thought I was. Let me get me a little brush. Here we go. Just a little old flat brush. All right. Now, I do know I want gold around the edges. I do know that. So, I'm just going to go with this one first. I think there was a goal. Yep. That's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Look at the colors in there. So, yeah. Around each of them, the edge, I want to put... Oh, Lord, all this fluff. I want to put um, gold. Okay. Get out. Here we go. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush, and I'm just going to go around the edge. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, my God. I love this. Mm. I want to make sure I get the outside of the ornament, like the edge, the edge of it. Sure, I get that pretty good. So I'm gonna dust them all up with the gold around the edge, and then pick some colors that I like. I know one of them's gonna be blue. I don't know. I have done started liking blue. I love blue now. So, I know one of them is going to be blue. I just hope I got enough. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm going to be do. Yeah, let's go ahead. Do them all. And I have another one over there, but I just wanted to try this pumice first because I've never used it, and I don't know how it sets. I don't know. 
I don't know nothing about it. So, make sure I get that edge real good. And if I don't, it's fine. Because it says it um, dries, cures, whatever you want to call it, to white. It'll be white. So, that's good. Ain't that gold pretty? Oh, 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 it's so pretty. I'm sure I'm going to miss something. I usually do. Now, after I get through doing my little gold ring, I'm going to pick the whole mold up and just slap it to get the excess off. Oh, my God, I like this gold. Oh. Mm-mm-mm. And this is Chameleon Powder by Less Resin. I'll have it in the description box down below, along with my link, my affiliate link, and my coupon code. About that. Heck yeah. Ain't nothing like coupons, is it? Ain't nothing like it. Oh my God, I love this gold. I know I done said it a hundred times, but jeez. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got like a a green hue in it. And it's just gorgeous. Y'all can make these and give them to someone for Christmas. And like the plane, you can customize it. What? Shoot, yeah. All right. Now then, got that. Now, let's see what colors we got. Um, let's see. I want to, oh, yeah, I like this one. This one is, um, a real young yellow. Oh, that might pop with the gold. Let's go with this one. Egyptian green. Okay. And it has, like, a pearlescence to it. Is that not pretty? So I'm just going to dust the whole inside. Let's see how this dusts. Oh, look at that. It does pretty good. I thought about um, hitting my sayings in the middle with my gold leaf uh, pen. And I just might still do that. Y'all, it's cold. It is cold, babies. All right, there's the green. Pretty. That's pretty. Now I'm going to set this out. Mm, so I know what colors I used. Uh, what's this one? Scarlet. Let's do a scarlet. Oh, wow. Wow. Hmm. Honk, honk. Yep, let's just go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Very pretty. Oh, God. Oh, I like the scarlet. Mm -hmm. That is pretty. Yeah, I may take my goalie pen and go ahead and hit these raised letters because I think... <laughs> I think the, um, that'll make it pop, won't it? Oh, put that right there. All right, let's see what else we got. We have a black. I don't want a black. Um, oh, this one's pretty snowflake. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, oh my God. What in the name is? Can't get it. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I can't get it open. I hope the white shows up. Um. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. Yeah. I think this is going to be my favorite. Mm-hmm. Just, and it does really good, y'all. I'll have this in the, my description box, too. Now, I don't know if this is going to stick to the permastone. When I take it out, is the color still going to be there? I have no idea. So there's white. Now, 
I'm going to use some of these. Let's see what colors we got in here. Let's do violet on this one. Oh, look at that. Pretty, pretty. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Now, this is kind of glittery. Glittery looking. Oh, God. I'm going to say that a lot because, oh, these colors are gorgeous. Now, that was Violet Chameleon Powder by Less Resin. Let's see what color. Plum. Let's do a plum. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That's pretty. We'll do this one. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And Miss Tazlan also sent these, too. Yes, she did, my sweet angel. Oh, I got that now. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave this one clear because, you know, in the middle, I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe, wipe around it, I think, and uh, clean it up just a, just a little bit. All right. There they are. Oh, God. Look how pretty. Oh, wow. Now, you can also put a picture in this one. Put whatever you want to in there. For sure. All right, now. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about this. I'm going to move this over. Because I have no idea. I'm just going to go a little bit of water. There we go now. I don't know. Because there's a lot of... There's a lot of permastone in here. Now, I do know the thinner you make it, the direction says, the longer it takes to cure. I do know that. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to put, uh-oh, I'm making a mess. Y'all know I'm not, I don't do directions too good. So I didn't look to see how long of a working time you have. But it does take 20 to 30 minutes to cure. Do you know that? Just make sure I don't have any lumps around the edge of the cup. Okay. Whole lot of a G. Here we go. All right. Here we go, little machines. I hope it's enough. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now it's kind of thick. Look at the bubbles, though. I'm going to tap it. Get those bubbles to come. Good enough. All right, darlings, here we go. Oh, I don't know. It might need some more water. Oh, that's thick. Give it a little shake, shake, a shake. Flippity flip. Here we go. I'm going to add just a little bit more water, just a drippy, just to make it a little bit thinner. I'm not going to have enough for them. I see that already. But it's not like resin. You know? Don't take long to mix up some more. So, now this one. It's going to be a little. Permastone. Huh. That's something. Y'all, I might get hooked on this. <laughs> I might. Get hooked on this stuff. Because you know you need to take a break from resin every once in a while. Because I know when to take a break from resin. Because I'll start coughing. And my throat will feel scratchy. So I know it's time to uh, let it go. 
Okay. All right. I've got those. I've got one more. I don't know what to do with this here. I wonder if this heart will fit in there. Woo! Look at that pretty heart. I know it's too big. Is it too big? Yeah. Check on it. All right. I'll be right back, loves. All right, love. I found a little... I don't know if I want to use this one or this one. I love the white. But I like that. Oh, God. I don't know. I'm just going to pop it in. Oh! Okay, it might float. It just might. So, I mixed up some more. Now, as you see, the bubbles has already popped. Just keep giving them a little flippity flip. Now, I'm heavy handed, so... Give them a little jiggle jiggle. There we go. There's something in that one. Oh. All right, loves. Here we are. Here we go. I think I want to color in this one. For my little lady. There we go. Might be too much in there. I don't know. Okay. And let's get... Oh, crap. Where'd it go? Oh, let's get this out. Something in there. Okay. Now then. I'm going to just pour on top of this, I think. Um, yeah. I'm just, I just... I'm going to make it plain. I think I need a little bit more water. Because it's a little thick. So just add water. Okay. Please do not flip. I'm going to ease it around the sides first. While holding it down in the middle. Oh, yeah, this one's kind of runny. I'll try to keep it from floating. I just want to see if you can add what it'll look like if you add to it. I'm just slowly dripping it in <laughs> till it gets full. Y'all, if this works, I'm going to be hot. All right, here we go with this one. Let's do a little snowflake. I don't know. It might be too thick for the snowflake. Because you can paint it, it says. So, oh. All right, I'm going to have to scrape that off. But anyway, let's give it a little jiggle around. And this can go right off in there because that one's not full yet. I may be messing up. Oh, crap. You can sand it, it says. Oh, that's getting thick already. Mm hmm. Uh-oh. I don't know. Okay. Give it a little jiggle. Get it back like it's supposed to be. Is my woman floating? I think she is, guys. I think this one's going to be a, just a mess. Just a hot mess. All right. Now, I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to put some crushed crystal in it. By Unicon Art. It only takes a little. So I'm going to put that in there. Come on here now. Give it a little stir around. See if you can even see it in there. No, I don't see it. So let me make it a color. Um, Let's go. I'm going this color. It is... 
Eurelian yellow. I seen that while ago and I thought it was pretty. Woo! That's a bright yellow, ain't it, babies? Let's see how mica works in it. See if it'll change the color any. Just a little. Ooh, let me put some more. I don't know how much is allowed. I'm going to put a big chunk. Oh, God. Big chunk going in. All right, there we are. Oh, it's like a light yellow. I don't know if y'all can tell. A little bit more water, just a little drippy. Make it a little bit runny. And I'm going to be putting it in here. How about that? Let me see how runny it is. No. I need a little bit more water. Good Lord. I hope I'm not messing up. Oh. Yeah, this needs a little flop. A little jiggle because I see a... Uh-oh. I might have put too much water. <laughs> oh, God. I think I did. I think I did, guys. All right. Here we go. We're just going to pour it in the bead mold. And see how it does making beads. See, it's hard to break, so I'm hoping that's right. Come on, baby. It's getting thick. thick. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to have to sand for sure. Am I not? I'm going to put the rest in here. I don't even. I'm going to add a little bit more water and put the rest in there. And then i got to give that a little jiggle jiggle. Because it's going to be sitting. Oh, God. That one's going to have a lump. Great. Just great. Now, this is really runny. See, it's really, really runny. So, just going to pour it in. I'm not really sure if this is a snowman or Santa. I'm not positive what it is. But we'll see. If it cures, we will see, babies. It's only going to be the top, whatever it is. Hope it's a tree. Mm, might be Santa. All right. There we go. All right, love machines. That's it. Let me try to... Oh, it's setting. It's setting... I'm so messy. All right. There we go. I'm going to give this a little pop, pop, pop. And I'll be back in 30 minutes is what it says. Okay, loves. See you in a few. All right, babies. It's been 30 minutes. Now, the ones that, y'all, I was doing this and I broke my snowflake. Oh, broke it. So, just... I'm saving my little pieces because I'm going to see if I can color them and put them in resin. How about that? So let's just get the rest of this out. Oh, man. I, I wasn't even thinking, y'all. I broke my little snowflake. I was not even... I have heavy hands. God. So... Just gonna get this out. Look, this one's trying to pop out. 
All right, I got a mess. Oh, Lordy. What a mess. But it'll clean up easier than resin, and it's not sticky. All right. Now, anyway, what I was saying was the one that I put more water in, I feel water on the back. See, it's wet. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, it is. It's wet. So, but anyway, it said 30 minutes, so I'm going for it. Let's just get the plain one out with the lady. I pray the mica powder stuck to the... Oh, God, come on. Please work. Oh, don't work the nib. Oh, jeez. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to break it. There we go. Oh, man. Ah, but look. The mica stuck. It's in the, in the, um, what you call this stuff again? Permastone. Let me see what, uh, I forgot what you call it. Lord, help me. Permastone, yes. But look, the mica did work. And then if you have a little overflow, just pop it off. Is that not easy? Look at that. You don't have to wear gloves. You don't have to wear a mask. Easy peas. Put your sticker on there, I guess. Or just leave it like it is. Or put an initial on there. Whatever you want to do. Get this out the way. I got a weird feeling about them beads. <laughs> All right, here we go, love machines. Here's the true test. And I forgot to do it with my goalie pen. So, here we go. I feel a little heat in this one, just a little. <sighs> it's the most wonderful time. Of the year. Oh, ain't that pretty? Oh, next time I will do my letters in gold. Gosh, dog it. Oh, that's so pretty. And just like I said, just pull it and it pops off. I'm going to sand that just a little bit because it says you can sand it. So, hey, let's sand it. All right, this is this one's a little wet on the back. But it's hard. All right, this one says, meet me under the mistletoe. Y'all, I'm loving this uh, permastone. I'm loving it. I hope I don't wear y'all out with it, but oh, honey, I love it. Wish I could get a big old bucket full. Deck the halls. Oh, wow. Man, I wish I'd have done those, done the letters. Aren't they cute? It worked, it worked, it worked. Oh, look at this one. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Is that not precious? Too freaking cute. I've got one more. I'm so glad the mic off. Oh. Now I'm going to move this. I'm going to have to take it to my sink and give it a good old wash. Here's this one. Believe in the magic of Christmas. Precious, is it not? Oh, my God. Now, if you want them to be extra shiny, you can spray it with some um, shellac or whatever that's called. Or you can go over it with... <gasps> Y'all... I just thought of something. Putting colored UV resin in there. In the words. I kind of like it plain. Kind of do. Okay. Let's get us a. I'm going to be using this. It's just like. It's for necklaces. But it's leather. And that's the only thing I had read. So. Yeah. So I'm just going to give it a little cut. And. I don't know which one my favorite is. I think it's, oh, I don't know. I love this one. This one's pretty. Uh-oh, my little hole. My little hole is furrowed. Right up. <laughs> okay, there we are. Get a little sand. Get that 
Oh, look one baby. Is that oh there we go. There we go. And I'm oh my god. And then if you wanted to, look at that. Is that not sweet? If you wanted to, after you get this tied, you could put a little bow right here. That would be cute. But that's how it would look hanging. Precious. And I have different colors of these. I mean, a whole bunch of colors come in one thing. Um, and you can just put different color, whatever you want on there. But anyway, there they are, babies. There they freaking are. Mm-hmm. Trying to get this even so I can tie it. Come on. Just a little. There we go. No, that's not. There we go. Alrighty. Let's get to this uh, blessing board. And get this a little tie. Oh, God. It says it's hard to break. The uh, perma stone says it's hard to break. Anyway, how sweet is that? Just precious. I love that perma stone, guys. <gasps> I love it. I may have to get me a... I wish it come in bigger bags. All right, darling. Blessing board for November is Miss Angel Ortega, Miss Tanya McCord, and Miss Stacy Stiller. Shout outs. Cosmic Carol Creations, India Brady Art, Art by Me by Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cabbage Patch Soap, Beaten Crazy Custom Creations, Tiger Moth Resin, Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat on Instagram, and Miss Stacy has a TikTok and it's at SSMurf, M U R F 1018. Okay. And um, Miss Cat Wood. Color Bloom Art. Oh, honey. Go look at her paintings. Oh, my dear Jesus. They're beautiful. And Miss Stacy's tumblers. Oh, oh God. Whew. They're gorgeous, babies. All right. On the prayer board, continue prayers for Miss Billy and her family. Miss um, Karen Parker. You might see her um, comment as Kay Parker. Bless her heart, she's sick, so let's pray that she gets well soon. Okay, darlings? Miss Christina Hutchinson's daughter's having a baby in February. It's a high-risk pregnancy, so let's pray everything goes as it should. Okay, darlings? And Miss Rose and her mama. All right. I, got a, I just made one heck of a mess. Let's see if we can color this. I'm just curious. Curiouser and curiouser. All right. I'm going to get, let me just reach over here and just get some color alcohol ink. Maybe. I don't know. Alcohol ink? Yeah, let's try it. I'm just going to grab a color. Oh, it don't matter what color because it, it'll just let me know if I can color it or not. That way I can crunch it up, put it in resin. This is peach, it says. But look, does that not look pink? Mm hmm. It does. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a little dribby drill. I'm sure it'll color. Oh, God, that's a pretty color. Oh, wow. I'm going to give it a little stir around. Oh, I do like that color. Well, yes, it does. Look at that. It does color. So there you are. Mm -hmm. And I'll be using these. I'm going to have to find me a little container to put all these uh, little bits in. Because I'm going to reuse them, honey. I'm going to reuse them. So oh, there it is. It's your colored. Yay! Now we know. Alright, darlings. Let's get to the prayer card. Here we go. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, babies. And thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate your emails. And I appreciate your texts. Your comments. Thank you so much. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are good to me. You really are. And I appreciate it. 
it may take me a while to respond you know especially when I'm going through something and I'm sorry about that and uh, when I'm going through something I don't think as I should I don't think anybody does they have their mind on one thing and and that's what's depressing them and that's it so uh, sorry if I hadn't been showing enough attention please forgive me but my brain is just I don't know but I'm, I'm okay now. I made it through Thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks to my grandbabies. They kept me busy and my oldest daughter. And uh, now, make it through Christmas. With the grace of God, I will. I will. All right, now, let's get one. Put it right there. And here we go. All of God's promises have been fulfilled in Christ. With a resounding yes. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. Amen. Okay. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Amen. Psalm chapter 144 verse 15. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Means you don't have God in your life. You're not going to be happy, not totally 100%. You may think you are, but you're missing. You're missing out. Ain't that right, babies? All right, so let me raise you up. I look like crap now. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> I don't want to scare you, babies. But I'm fixing to go in here and clean two closets. <sighs> and, uh. Just rearrange the... the and put up my Christmas stuff. I'm going to put some Christmas stuff out. And uh, that's about it for today. Now, next, I think I'm going to do this other mold. You know, it came with two molds. I'm going to be doing this one next. Yeah, it's got different sayings on it. So, maybe not next. I might do something else. Oh, we forgot. Oh, Jesus, let me get you down, babies. Lord of mercy, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. I don't know how this is going to do, but I'm going to try to pull it and stretch it. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> Y'all, look at that perma stone. I know we only got his head, but I think it's cute. Now, don't that look like a vintage Santa without any color? Now, you can take your acrylic pens or oil-based pens or markers, and you can paint him. Look at that. That's cute. Look at the detail. That Permastone, oh, my God. Y'all, I don't feel in love. I don't feel in love with the Permastone. Oh, God. I th and it's for this bag, look how much. For this bag, 48 ounces, I believe is what it is. 20 bucks. Way cheaper than resin, huh? Way <laughs> cheaper. You can get like four or five bags. Now that I know you can color it, which is great. I'm getting some more. I love it. I think it's beautiful. All right, now then. So we got our vintage little Santa. So freaking cute. And then I forgot I done these. Now these are gonna be ugly because I didn't put no color in there. I just wanted to see if it would work as a bead. Look at that. Yes it did. Yes it did, babies. It worked. Look at that. Comes right off the nib. Now you can take your markers. Look at that's got had a little glitter in it. From last time, you can take your markers and paint these up. Make them look like a Christmas uh, gift. Look at that. I'm talking about they coming out really easy. I may put these inside of a blue jean leg and take a hammer and crunch them up. But it says it's hard to break this stuff. So Now that was UV resin. And that permastone stuck to it. It's so great. All right, little machines. I will see y'all on the next video. 
and I love y'all very much. And y'all have a blessed day, honey babies. And I'll see y'all, okay? Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, babies. Bye. I'm back. <laughs> I found these stickers. Aren't those cute? So, I wanted to put one on this plain one. And it's going to be hanging on the tree. It's not going to be out in the weather or anything. So, I'm not going to top coat it. I'm just going to put me a cute little sticker on it. Mm, I love the little... Let's do the deer. Oh, yeah. Let's do the deer. So, we're just going to put it right in the middle. Or... Oh, my God. <gasps> Look at it now. Is that not precious? Good God, that's precious. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think the deer is my favorite, actually. I thought about getting my um, my pens out and doing the letters, but I like, I think I like it just like it is. All right, darlings. Love y'all. Bye.